Hi, I'm Larry Karaszewski, and this is Trailers from Hell. Uh, when today's movie was shot, Warren Beatty was the biggest star in the world. He was the hot new thing. His first film was Splendor in the Grass, directed by Elia Kazan. This is Warren Beatty. He starred on Broadway. This is his first movie role. You won't forget him. You know, he was so big, he, you know, he had the acting chops, he was good looking, he was Shirley MacLaine's little brother, uh, and he got offered everything. He was offered to play President Kennedy in PT-109, he was even offered Visconti's The Leopard. But he turned them all down, and the things he said yes to all flopped, including 1962's All Fall Down. <laughs> One reason the film failed is that Beatty is playing one of the most unlikable characters ever in a Hollywood film. This was actually a fad at the time. It was cool to play the cad. Uh, Paul Newman as HUD is probably the best example. Michael Caine's Alfie is another. This movie is based on a book by James Leo Hurley, the same guy who wrote the book Midnight Cowboy. Now this guy must hate women. I mean, both stories are obsessed with the idea that horny housewives will throw money at any young hot stud just to get a little attention. Playwright William Inge does a screenplay. He also did Splendor in the Grass and Picnic and Bus Stop and Come Back Little Sheba. He was known as the playwright of the Midwest, a guy who could capture normal folks. But his work suffered a decline in popularity and he fell into depression, committing suicide in the early 70s. The movie is directed by John Frankenheimer during his amazing run in the 1960s. Hell, in 1962 alone, he releases All Fall Down, Birdman of Alcatraz, and The Maturing Candidate. That's a hell of a year. But then he follows it up with Seven Days in May in Seconds. There was nobody better at the time. The cast here is very good. Uh, Brandon the Wild, all grown up from Shane and still hero-worshipping. He plays almost the exact same part in HUD. Eva Marie Saint and Carl Malden are here, reunited from Kazan's On the Waterfront. Uh, and Angela Lansbury doing a test run for a Manchurian candidate as another mother who loves her son a little too much. Lansbury is great during this period, playing mothers even though she wasn't that old. She's actually only three years older than Lawrence Harvey, her son and Manchurian candidate. But Beatty is the reason to see the film. I mean, he's amazing. It's one of his best performances. You can't take your eyes off of him. But he was a terror on the set. The movie was produced by legendary John Hausman. Inge had talked him into casting Beatty, but Hausman couldn't stand him. He writes in his autobiography, From the very start, our most serious problem was young Mr. Beatty. With his angelic arrogance, his determination to emulate Marlon Brando and Jimmy Dean, and his half-baked, overzealous notions of method acting, he succeeded in perplexing and antagonizing not only his fellow actors, but our entire crew. Hausman claims things got so bad that the production had a secret agreement with the local police to throw Beatty in jail after the last day of the shoot. Needless to say, Beatty didn't stay in real jail or movie jail very long. He went on to become one of our great movie stars and make some of the best films of the next 20 years. I never know what I'm going to do next. I just follow the breeze. I just live for kicks. 